Welcome to Traveling Nature. Um, it was a small trail near Minavanka. Um, uh, it's a nice and pleasant start for us. Uh, we saw water flowing through the daisy meadow and it's running across the road too. Um, and it's um, underneath the mountains and beautiful trees and uh, nice meadow and grassy area and very wet and a lot of water flowing through too. It's too beautiful to see and uh, the water is flowing through the road to the down down through the mountains too. So we have to walk across this water to get to the a small hill on the other side, opposite side of the road. And when we reached the small hill, um, we had to climb that and get down on the other side and see the lodgepole pine forest. The ground still had burnt wood and black soil from forest fire many years ago. Um, it's a and when the when you reach the path uh, the trail uh, through the this lunch ball pine forest very narrow path and windy trail with steep slopes on either side we could still hear the gushing river below and it was um, pretty windy and um, it's very steep on the right both sides we have to hang, hang into the hang on to the trees and clinging, clinging on, clinging on to the small shrubs, and we are walking through that area. But it's very beautiful and breathtaking. Um, it's 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 a very nice experience. So uh, we um, we we still hear water sounds and gushing river and you know the creeklet sounds and things like that. On our way, it started like pouring rain, and we took roof under a small tree. It's a thicket, and we kept hearing grouse, mountain chickadee close by. It's a nice feeling, actually. And uh, look at the water was now at the moment we are just still we are on this road actually here. The water is flowing through, and it's just going top of the road and it's going under on the other side of the mountain it's going down right now it's a beautiful feeling this area is surrounded by um, huge trees beautiful trees shrubs and nice rocks and water and you know wildlife of course wildlife um, um, it's 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 a lot of things to enjoy the breeze and the blue sky and the smell of the pine is like stunning and then you just uh, walk across this area and when you go to the hill and you are getting to the alpine forest uh, it's another nice feeling actually um, like whenever you have a chance please come to come and visit here and, and have a good experience and in the meanwhile um, we kept uh, going uh, in this path, it's a soft and spongy pine, like a, it's very soft because spongy pine needles made the path cushiony and comfy. The next stretch, the trail was a climb through the alpine forest. After this really interesting terrain, and you will have to cross some creeklets and ponds. While Climbing down the slippery mud slopes, we were clinging to the trace roots, like tree roots and like small shrub roots and bushes. It was a difficult descent, but very worth the effort. Uh, you're already in the creek bed and wetlands um, around around it. Actually, the wetlands around it. Our hopes of finding a town again. But we met an unexpected friend. Uh, he is very territorial and he made sure that we are not overstaying our welcome. But the nicest thing is, 
she is just three meters from us <laughs> and never mind our presence but he did, he do not he do not he he he, he, he do not want us to invade her his boundary he is fearless i am no match for him he start jump on me and picking on the shoes that is a wonderful war feeling <laughs> this is this beautiful bird treat me as his equal and finally he decided to quit because we stop moving around and we choose to do not disturb the beautiful bird and her family because um, as he realized she is trying to protect he is trying to protect his chicks and the, the female bird so however after some time uh, he just uh, getting in there and he was having his uh, meals uh, with this uh, like cherry with be- sorry berries and the grass and after that uh, we just decided and we were just climbing up and um, she was he was looking at us and then when we were going and he was following us up to his boundary was like we were out of his boundary and it's a beautiful feeling and um, the energy was so nice and uh, this bird is uh, pretty nice to see uh, a wild bird friendly and nice it's great feeling after we uh, from there we climb up again we cling to the shrubs and all these uh, roots and went up and we're walking and we find out a lot of uh, wildlife and birds uh, we find a small pond and we found sora palaropes and of course uh, uh, rocky mountain sheep that is big horn sheep and uh, then we see another grouse and um, the birds around too and then we came back and then finally we again we drive back to mount nokway and that is uh, our end so we then again we had to come back home but it's a beautiful day and beautiful time with this beautiful bird and nice day we had the whole day um thank you for watching and thank you for traveling with us on this beautiful nature land thanks a lot bye